Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Suck My Kiss by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So we are in standard tuning here. Um, it's not a lot to this when it comes to chords, and it's a lot of it's just built around two notes. It's the rhythm that you got to concentrate on. So hopefully you guys know the way the song sounds um, a lot by by ear, and you can just kind of follow along where I'm putting the notes. But and I'll slow the rhythms down too, but it's really... Yeah, you gotta really know how it feels before you really try to uh, learn a song. So listen to it first. There you go. So let's start here. We're gonna start with the intro, which is a little bit different um, way of playing this riff at the very beginning, and then he doesn't repeat it again. So we have, um, we're gonna be uh, just do one three on the uh, low E string. Kind of muted, kind of palm muted. And then you're gonna reach over and grab the first fret on the uh, a string and then the open D and G string and hit those as well and then back to one three on the so we have this then you're gonna mute the strings and do a quick little down up muted just you know like Prashante would always do so so really get the timing of those last two Kind of how he phrases those last two. All right, then we have this little. All right, so we're going to slide from three to five, then pick five twice. And then four times, you're going to pick the, the third fret on the D string. And then slide five to seven. And pick that seven two more times. And then you're gonna just jump over to the seventh fret on the G string. Slide up to nine. And then pick nine once. So we have this all together. All right, then he goes back. Same little lick that he does at the end of it. Okay, then we get to the actual main riff, which is the verse of the song. Sounds like this. All right, so it's the same thing done four times in a row. One, three. And then you hit three again. And then you do that over over all over again. But the timing is different. So we have this one, three, three, one, three, three. Make sure you kill the space in between those notes. All right, so we have this so far. All right, then we just keep when we repeat. We have this little hammer one to three on the A string, pull back off to one, and then reach over and grab the first fret on that low E string too. So all together. All right, and then we have this little part. Now you notice when we came back in there, it was kind of in the middle of the riff. So we have, you're gonna play the third fret on the A and the D string together. And then let go of that and play the fourth fret here on the E and the B string. Do that again. Now move everything up one fret. And then end it with just the sixth fret here on those, those two notes. Move up to the sixth fret so we have this all together. Now, when that 
hit. That would be where that first fret was to start that main reverse riff over. But since we're here, you're gonna start. So you basically have to start, you leave out the very first note of the verse riff when you're coming back. And you have to grab it with your first finger and then shift back and grab it again when you hit it again with your third. So we have this. Then it's back to the normal verse riff. Back into that thing after that. Now we have this little chord that comes out of nowhere, that leads us into the chorus, and that is just the first fret on the A string, open D, and then the G string at the first fret. All right, now the chorus sounds like this. All right, so from, it's pretty much what you're hitting on to start it is just the power chord. But if you're going to hit any extra strings, make sure you're holding an E major chord because there's, there's a couple times in the song where he'll hit, he'll hit that G string in there as well. But for the most part, those first uh, two hits of the chorus, and every time he comes back around to it, is just a low a, a E string and the second fret on the uh, D and the A. So basically, the bottom three strings of an E major chord. All right, now we're gonna come up here and grab the third fret on the high E string and the B string with these two fingers. So you can use your first and uh, finger and your little finger to rotate back and forth between the fourth fret and the second fret on the G string. Now, along with that, you can hit the open A and the open D string. So it starts on the fourth fret, down to the second, back to the fourth, back to two. So. And from there we have just an A major chord. All right, so all together. And then it starts comes back around. Now after the second time of doing that, we have this little. All right, so you're gonna be grabbing the third fret on the B string and the 4th fret on the G. Bend both of those up, and then hit the B and the G open after. Then start over. Now, the big difference, the only difference actually, between all the choruses in the song, the three times I play the chorus, is that little part I played right there. All right, so it's basically the third time through that the, the chorus progression. First time, you're just gonna do three downstroke palm mutes on the low power chord. And then back to the. And ended on that A. So that was the fourth time through. So all together for the first chorus. So then we go back and through the same verse, the same, all that stuff, back into the same chord. The chorus now, the next time, instead of doing that, we timed a little bit differently. So he just has two hits. So in the second chorus, it's just two hits. Now the timing of that is a little bit weird. So that's one of those things where it's better to just kind of do it by ear instead of trying to count it. That's how they're doing it. So just listen to the recording a lot and just get it memorized what it sounds like. And then it goes back, you know, out of the second chorus, we had that same coming out of it. We go, we do that chord and it takes us into the guitar solo. Uh, so the guitar solo sounds like this. All right, so now the guitar tone during this uh, guitar solo 
is a little bit just unique sounding. It sounds like an amp that needs to be taken to the shop or something, but um, so don't really try to recreate that. But anyway, we're just up here at the uh, 15th fret here. Uh, again, on the G string here, we're gonna hammer on to 17, pull back off to the um, 15th fret, and then pull off to the open string. And then hit the open string, just pick it a few times. It's kind of four times. Do that again. So all together so far. So that last time, third time, I didn't pick it as much. I just hit it twice after it. Then do the exact same thing, except instead of doing 15, 17, it's 15, 18. Make sure you're getting that last pull up. All together. All right, now, now you're just pulling off and just hitting it a few times in between. All right, and then the end of that little part is just hammering 10 to 12 on the G and then picking 12 again and pulling off to the open string. Do that a few times. And the fourth time, just go hammer 12 to 10 and then pick the 12 again. All right, now we're up here to, that's the 10th fret on the high E string, 11th fret on the B. They slightly bending that note on the B string. Kind of create some kind of a tense feel. Then you're gonna, you're gonna pull off 12 on the high E string to, to that 10. Uh, uh, You'll hear that in. Does that a couple times. All right, and then after he's done that, he does some starts tremolo picking. So just pick down up across those two strings as fast as you can, starting on those, that 10 and 11, then moving it up two frets to so that 12 on the high E and 13 on the B. Now we have a little different span. It's 13 on the high E and 15 on the B string. Now we're going to keep that two frets apart the entire rest of the time. Move it up two more frets, then two more frets, and then one fret. So you're going to end up at 18 and 20. So we have this. Alrighty, so that's about it for the solo. You know, it's just kind of one of those things. Uh, it's very, very Prushante, very unique solo. So um, out of there, we go back into the um, verse rhythm again. There's just a slight variation. Um, instead of doing the... He just kind of hangs out just one of the times through. He'll just, just hit this, the two bottom notes. All right, then we take it back to the chorus, that last chorus of the song. Just the same as the first two, except for now instead of hitting like we did it three times, a little, or the twice, the second time on the, in the second chorus, this time we only hit it once. So it goes through the chorus as three, two, one. All right, so that just that one little hit there, uh, once again, just get the timing of it. But those little hits are the only variations between all three choruses. And remember, in the first chorus, there's three hits. In the second chorus, there's only two. And in the last chorus, there's only one. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's fun doing it. I love doing the Chili Peppers. I'll see you again soon for Guitar Lessons365.com. Bye-bye.